Hey, and welcome back. We got this uh, HTML template that we want to implement in uh, WordPress, and we want to use advanced custom fields to do this. Previously, I just installed the, if we can find it right here, I installed the plugin, advanced custom fields, and that is active right now, so that is very nice. Let's have a look at our, uh, our new HTML template. I just copied the, the index file and the style, into the WP content and themes uh, directory, and let's have a, s have a look how this uh, how these two files look in an editor. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and going to launch the Control K O or Command O to open a uh, folder uh, from WordPress here. So we go to WP content and we take themes. Uh, I think I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna go take themes here. So we got this uh, innovation cloud directory here, and we can see this is this is HTML only, uh, rather simple. It's around uh, 50 lines of code. We have styles, and uh, that's also limited in content here. The first thing we need to do now is that we need to actually make WordPress detect this as a theme. Because if you go to Appearance and Themes, it's going to probably report that it's broken. Yeah, you can see broken theme, uh, there is no template header. So how do we get that? Well, if we take a look at one of the other themes that come shipped with WordPress, we need to find the style CSS. And then we can see we have this header right here. And we don't need all of it, but we're just going to copy it. And um, let's just find our own theme here, styles. And I'm just going to put this up in the beginning. Whoop -dip. And we're going to get rid of this text here. Don't need that. We're going to get rid of the text. Don't need that. Uh, do, do, just gonna call it innovation cloud in the theme name. In here, you can in the theme URI you can provide a website for that. Yeah, the author yeah, snare. If you have a website you want to provide there, and then a description. I'm just gonna put on. Word wrap here. So now we can see here that a basic uh, HTML CSS theme. Okay, and you can provide a license if you want to do that. Well, we're probably just gonna we're just gonna go take this one away. What version is it? So we have a basic uh, header here, and if we save this uh, and refresh WordPress, it should detect it that we have. Uh, oh, we need one, one, one more thing. And actually, WordPress is telling us that it needs to have an index.php file. So we got the template now, the header in our style file, but the index file is called HTML. And we can't work with that because we need to use some PHP tags later on. So we need to uh, rename this to PHP. All right, we can save it. Let's refresh once again. So now we can see here we got Innovation Cloud. Uh, it has detected the theme. We don't have an image right now. You could do that if you wanted to put an image there. But we're just going to... Um, do with this uh, as it is right now. That is fine. So now we get WordPress to actually detect our theme. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can um, actually uh, use advanced custom fields to uh, to actually see this uh, theme, and we can make some uh, uh, custom fields that we can change from within WordPress. All right. Thanks for watching.